Chapter 11, Lesson 10. How can you use a formula to find the volume of a rectangular prism? Connect. Both prisms show the same dimensions and have the same volume. So even if it doesn't show all the little squares in the picture, um, it's going to have the same volume, whether it shows the squares or not. So unlock the problem. Mike is making a box to hold his favorite DVDs. The length of the box is 7 inches, the width is 5 inches, and the height is 3 inches. What is the volume of the box Mike is making? Press pause and squiggle underline what you're being asked to find, circle the important information, and solid underline your label. You should have underlined what is the volume of the box Mike is making, circled 7 inches, 5 inches, 3 inches, and then I underlined inches so that I knew my label, and then I underlined volume so that I knew that I had to have it as cubic inches. One way to solve this is to use length, width, and height. So you can use a formula to find the volume of a rectangular prism, and a formula is just an equation but it's written using number or letters to replace numbers uh, so it's volume equals length times width times height or V equals L times W times H the first step to using the formula is to actually identify the length the width and the height of the rectangular prism first you need to find the length which, depending on how you're holding your rectangular prism, it can be either of the bottom numbers. Um, I'm going to do that, this one, as my length, the 7 inches. And then the width would be my 5 over here. And the height would be this 3 inches. So... Because I'm going to be multiplying three numbers, I can really only multiply two numbers at once. So multiply the length and the width. That's going to be my 7 and my 5. So 7 times 5 is 35. And then we multiply the product of the length and the width, so our 35, um, times the height, which our height was 3. So 35 times 3. So 35 times 3 is 105, but I can't just give a number. What's my label? We measured in inches, and because it's volume and we multiplied three dimensions, I, it needs to be cubed. So the volume of Mike's DVD box is 105 cubic inches which they wrote out the word cubic, but you could have also just done in with a third exponent 3. Looking at this math talk here real quick, it says explain how you can use the associative property to group the part of the formula that represents the area. So remember the associative property is the use of parentheses, and so it could have been 7 times 5 times 3. So what were the two um, dimensions that we multiplied first? It was the 7 and 5. So this is the length and the width, which is how you find area as well. So that's how you use the associative property to um, group the part that represents the area using parentheses. Which that leads us into basically this next way of using a formula. So we've learned one formula for the volume of a rectangular prism, but there's another one, which it's basically the same thing, just kind of shortening it up. This one is um, volume equals base area times height, or V equals B times H. And so if we look at the one that we just did, length times width times height, we group length and width together, and that can that's how you find the area of a rectangle is length times width. So they are calling length times width the base. 
and then they're just multiplying it times the height. So really you're going to be doing this no matter which formula you use. It's just depending on how you want to write it to start with. So this time we're going to use the area of the base shape and height. So Emilio's family has a sandcastle kit. The kit includes molds for several solid figures that can be used to make sandcastles. One of the molds is a rectangular prism like the one shown at the right. How much sand will it take to fill the mold? Press pause, squiggle underline what you're being asked to find, and then your information is given in your diagram so you don't need to circle it. So we're being asked how much sand will it take to fill the mold. So they want to know what is going to be going inside this rectangle. So the first thing, we have volume equals base times height. We need to replace the B with an expression for the area of the base shape. Uh, remember the base shape is this bottom right here. And we can see that it is a 5 by 4 rectangle. So that's a 5 by 4 rectangle. And then the height is right here, which is 8. So the area of the base, 5 times 4, is 20, and our height is 8. 20 times 8 equals 160 cubic inches. So it will take 160 cubic inches of sand to fill the rectangular prism mold. The other way to write 160 cubic inches is 160 in with an exponent 3 because we've multiplied three dimensions. So let's look at our try this now. The first one, A, is find the, form, uh, find the formula. So you're using the, or find the volume, and you're using the formula length times width times height. Fill it in and find the volume. Do part A. So using the formula, you should have had 7 times 4 times 5 equaling 140 cubic feet, which they give that to you. But you can also write it as 140 feet cubed with the exponent 3. Now, B, they've given you um, two dimensions, and then this one's missing. And we, got, we need to figure out what that is. So we take our formula, volume times length times width times height, and we plug in the information that we have. And we can see right here, they gave us the volume is 60. What is our length? Five. What is our width? Four. And then H right now is just a gray square because we don't know what it is. And then what is five times four? That is 20. So right now we have 60 equals 20 times something. So you could think if I filled this prism with centimeter cubes, each layer would have 20 cubes. How many layers of 20 cubes are equal to 60? So that's kind of the thought process that you would go through. But we also know that the inverse operation of multiplication is what? It's division. So to undo multiplication, we need to divide. So let's think. We got 60 divided by 20. What does that equal? It equals 3. So our unknown measurement is going to be 3 centimeters. And it's only centimeters because um, it's not the cubes. It's counting how many layers it would be. 60 is where the it would be centimeters cubed. But 3 is one of the dimensions, so it's just 3 centimeters. On your share and show, they want you to find the volume, 
of these two rectangular prisms. Use the formula. I'd like you to write it out and then give me the answer with the correct label. And then as you're working on your on your own, you're just going to notice that these ones are finding the area and these number 7 and 8, you're doing what we did with part B. They give you the volume and then they're asking you to find a missing um, dimension. So go ahead and work on your share and show first and then press play to check your answers. Number one, um, I asked you to fill out what you're multiplying. So using your formula, if you think volume equals length times width times height, I guess that should be capital, um, what numbers would you be multiplying? On this first one, we have a two times four and then the height is five and then if you want to you can write it below but two times four is eight and then eight times five is forty and the measurement that they're using is feet so forty feet but that's not going to be correct it needs to be forty feet cubed because you've multiplied three dimensions Number two, we have a four times four times nine. Okay, so four times four, that's 16. 16 times nine equals, it equals 144, but that's still not correct. I need my labels. They, this time they measured in centimeters and it's volume I multiplied three dimensions so it has to have my exponent of three for cubed so 144 centimeters cubed again remember that as you're working on the on your own with seven and eight you're finding the missing dimension so you need to Kind of write out your formula, fill in the numbers that you have, work down, and then use the inverse operation to find what's missing. And the way that you undo a multiplication problem is to use division. Okay, go ahead and work on your own.